This is the WWE NXT No Mercy 2024 Full Show Results video which takes place at Ball Arena in Denver, Colorado. WWE NXT No Mercy opens up with a video package and Vic Joseph and WWE Hall of Famer Booker T then welcomes us to the show. Joseph and Booker T then get the live crowd fired up from the entrance ramp. The show started with a tag team action between Chase U, Andre Chase and Ridge Holland, versus Nathan Fraser and Axiom for the WWE NXT Tag Team Championship. In the end, Nathan Fraser then tags in and Axiom sends Chase crashing into the mat with a Spanish fly off the top and Fraser follows it up with a 450 splash. Fraser then pins Chase and Nathan Fraser and Axiom has become the new WWE NXT Tag Team Champions. After the match, Chase Yu embraces each other in the ring and Duke Hudson and Riley Osborne then look to leave the ring, but Holland attacks them out of nowhere. Holland then nails Chase in the ring and sends Hudson crashing into the barricade before he sends Osborne crashing into the ring steps and sending Chase out of the ring over the top rope. Holland then clears the announce desk and gets Chase on top of it and hits a cradle DDT on him. Medical officials then make their way down to the ring with a stretcher in hand looking to load Chase on it. The next match happened between Wes Lee vs TNA X Division Champion The Rascals Zachary Wentz. In the final moments, Wesley sends Wentz crashing through the announce desk and climbs up the top rope, then hits a double stomp on Wentz on the floor. Lee then looks to hit Wentz with the chair, but Trey Miguel appears out of nowhere and grabs the chair from him. This then opens the door for Wentz to get Lee back in the ring and hit him with a Canadian Destroyer. In the end, Zachary Wentz delivered a springboard rolling stunner to Wes Lee and won the match by pinfall and postmatch, Trey Miguel hugged Wentz, and Rascals celebrated and Wes Lee was so angry. We then head to the back, where Trick Williams is shown having a conversation with Joe Hendry and how he will call the NXT Championship match down the middle and Hendry says that's good and he promises Trick a title match if he wins. Then we saw a match between Kalani Jordan vs Wendy Chu for the NXT Women's North American Championship. During the match, Jordan then hits a kick on Chu and a tornado DDT off the ropes, then follows it up with a facebuster and a low crossbody. Jordan then climbs to the top and hits a splash on Chu, then goes for a pin but Chu kicks out. In the end, Jordan escaped from the sleeper and climbed to the top, and hit a 450 splash on Chu before following it up with a split-legged moonsault and winning the match by pinfall to retain the NXT Women's North American Championship. After the match, Jordan retreats up the ramp as Tatum Paxley sneaks up on Chu in the ring and locks in a sleeper on her and Paxley then leaves Chu a doll of herself in the ring. The next match happened between Oba Femi vs Tony D'Angelo for the NXT North American Championship. During the match, Femi then goes for a kick on D'Angelo's face, but D'Angelo hits a belly-to-belly -belly suplex on Femi. D'Angelo then delivers some right hands on Femi, then follows it up with another belly-to-belly -belly suplex and goes for a pin, but Femi kicks out. Then Oba Femi hits D'Angelo with a powerbomb and goes for the pin, but D'Angelo kicks out. In the end, Femi hits a running uppercut on D'Angelo in the corner and follows it up with a powerbomb and then hits a sit-out powerbomb on D'Angelo and wins the match by pinfall to retain the NXT North American Championship. We then head to the back, where Trick Williams is shown having a conversation with WWE NXT Champion All Ego Ethan Page about how he will call the WWE NXT Championship match right down the middle. Page says that is a joke like Trick being champion and Page then gloats with the title and says that Trick won't call the match down the middle because Trick gets a title shot if he loses. Trick then says Page better abide to his rules or else he's going to whoop the Trick tonight. We then see Sarah Schreiber interview the Rascals, TNA X Division champion Zachary Wentz and Trey Miguel. Wentz says he may have won a match tonight, but he lost a brother and says he is thankful to have a brother in Trey Miguel. Trey then says the best thing they do best is move forward and Trey and Zach then challenge Axiom and Nathan Fraser for the WWE NXT Tag Team titles. Then we saw a match between the prodigy Roxanne Perez vs OTM's Jada Parker for the NXT Women's Championship. During the match, Parker catches Perez on her shoulders and climbs up the ring steps and Perez escapes and trips Parker, sending her crashing face first into them and Parker and Perez then get back inside the ring. Perez sets up for the Pop Rocks, but Parker avoids it and sends Perez crashing to the outside with a hip attack, then looks to hit a second hip attack on the outside. Perez then avoids it and Parker is sent crashing through the barricade near the timekeeper's area. In the end, Roxanne Perez delivered Pop Rocks to Jada Parker and won the match by pinfall to retain the NXT Women's Championship. After the match, the lights dim as mysterious music echoes through the ball arena and smoke appears as Julia walks through it to make her WWE debut. 
Julia then stares down Perez as she gets into the ring and Perez holds up her WWE NXT Women's Championship in response. In the main event of the show, we saw a match between All Ego Ethan Page versus TNA's Joe Hendry for the WWE NXT Championship and Trick Williams was the special guest referee. During the match, Hendry hits an ego's edge of his own on Page and pins him, but Page kicks out. Hendry then kips up and hits the standing ovation, then goes for a pin but Williams catches Page's foot under the bottom rope, forcing himself to stop the count. Page then gets in Williams' face and looks to hit him, but accidentally hits the second referee instead. Hendry then looks to hit a second standing ovation, but Page low blows him while Williams is distracted checking on the second referee. Then Ethan Page delivered Ego's Edge on Hendry and won the match by pinfall to retain the WWE NXT Championship. After the match, Williams reluctantly holds up Page's hand, but Pete Dunne attacks Williams from behind and hits him with the bitter end. Dunne then stands tall over Williams as Page watches on and the show goes off the air.